Another part of Piaget's theory is the types of knowledge theory. And this theory categorizes knowledge into three types and states that learning is different in each type of learning. So there's three kinds of knowledge. Physical knowledge, logiomathematical log knowledge, and social conventional knowledge. Now, physical knowledge is the understanding of how objects move and function in space and how the physical world works. Um, examples of this is when children get to interact with uh, anything physical, so using their bodies to explore and um, those gross and fine motor skills. That is our physical knowledge. The logico-mathematical knowledge is the relationships that are constructed in our minds between objects or concepts. And this is something that is not visibly observable. You can't watch someone because it happens in their brains. So log logico-mathematical knowledge is the workings of our mind when we're trying to figure something out. Uh, the third kind of knowledge is the social conventional knowledge. And this is kind of the easiest to teach because this is agreed upon names and symbols transmitted to learners. Um, it's basically anything we can tell them or show them that's not going to change. So definitions, um, the alphabet, counting, colors, these are basic concepts that cannot change no matter how we interact with them. There's one way. So what this means is when we are the teacher and we have to teach all of these kinds of knowledge, we must differentiate our teaching. So teachers with physical knowledge, we want to allow them to interact in physical ways and they will make those connections as they're, as they're working with their hands and their feet and their legs and their arms. They're going to understand how this works. Our logical mathematical knowledge is the hardest to teach because we have to allow them to explore and problem solve um, and there's going to be multiple answers that come out of these kind of problems. And so we have to give them activities and environments where they can create these experiences with this knowledge. So interacting with blocks and shapes and problem solving activities, um, anything that they're processing in their brain and knowing that there's more than one answer is important to share with them. The social conventional knowledge is our easiest, and when we have to teach that, we have to, of course, engage children in fun activities, but know that this is, this is, there's nothing to really think about. It's just learning and memorizing the information, so learning the alphabet, learning another numbers, colors, shapes. It's just something they have to acquire, and so it's the easiest to impart knowledge on, and those are important for our teaching um, strategies and activities.